What's up, guys? Jason Heine here, All Gen Gamers Podcast Emulator Review. So I get a lot of people that write me and they ask, hey, Jason, what kind of software do you use? How do you record the podcast? What do you use to edit? I get all kinds of questions, and there's so much... I could say about this because everyone's setup is different. So what I thought I would do is not necessarily give you like a tutorial here, but I just want to do a quick video to just show kind of how I go about it to maybe help inspire or help give you an idea of, of where to go with your signal flow and your process of recording a podcast um, or anything audio really. Um, so I'm not sure what it is. Um, actually, I do know exactly what it is. So I like to do things the hard way, especially when it comes to anything audio, um, technical, mechanical, anything like that. For some reason, I just I prefer to do it the hard way. And when growing up, I always ask myself, man, why do I like to do things the hard way? And as I got older, I, I find out now it's, it's because if you do things the hard way first, uh, you're really going to appreciate the easy way. And also you're going to value the shortcuts that you learn uh, while doing it the hard way to get the job done. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get into a little bit of how um, I record the All Gen Gamers podcast. So first of all, we use Skype. And I think everyone out there that, that does podcasts primarily uses Skype. It's free. It sounds good. And as long as you have good microphones all the way around, you can get a pretty good sound out of it. Um, you know, you don't all have to have broadcast mics like this. You can, you can use anything from, you know, a Snowball or Yeti uh, from Blue. Those are really good. Uh, AKG makes a really nice USB microphone that sounds fantastic. You know, put a little pop filter on it. Call it a day. You know, you don't have to get too crazy. You're going to spend about, factor in about 70 to 100 bucks to get a good, you know, USB mic which is probably what I'd recommend, um, you know, for anyone getting into it. All right. So then from there, what we do is I have the audio that's being recorded um, directly on the computer and I use Pro Tools to capture it and record it. Um, from there, I also send a split off of, um, I send a split, two splits actually, one from the computer audio, which is a Skype audio and one from my signal here. So I have a, I have a split that's going out to a backup recorder. Um, and really it can be anything. Um, it can be another laptop. It can be a little portable recorder, just something that can record up to two, three, four hours if you need be. Plus you got to have that buffer. Um, I'm using this Roland just because it's what I have. It's way overkill. It's, this is a way overkill for, for what, uh, the podcast needs, but I have it here. It's in the studio. It's right next to me. Might as well utilize it again, using the tools that you have. So that's the backup recorder. If, if I have a crash or something goes down or I lose files, which has happened in the past, I do have a backup to where I can pull from. So I have a split from there going to there, also recording on two channels, uh, a left and a right, so that I have flex flexibility if I need it um, from there. And then um, we record the podcast. It gets recorded on the computer. It gets recorded over there. And then from there, I export it um, you know, as a full wave file, export that um, if I need to out of the uh, backup recorder. If not, it's already in Pro Tools. So I've got the file there and I just go ahead and I pull it up. Let me go ahead and just show you uh, once I get it. One thing to keep in mind too, um, even though I've got, it, I've got it here now, I also use GarageBand for a monitor. So right now when I'm talking, you can see it's input monitoring, so it's showing my signal there. I use that to actually um, hear myself so, and, uh, and hear others too if I need to do that, which is really nice. So again, using the tools that you have, um, that's kind of like my input monitoring. Um, also, my, uh, while we're doing, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, while we're recording, this GarageBand is used for input monitoring. And of course, also my MacBook, which is to my right here, that is my um, soundboard. That is my uh, YouTube. If I need to play anything, audio questions, anything like that. So that's pretty much, all right, that, that, that's pretty much it. It's right here. So um, I've got that here to my right as well. All right, so once the podcast is done, now this is a completed session. This is episode 151. Uh, as of recording this video, we, we recently did this episode. So this is 151, and it's complete, and I have it all summed up into one channel, which is what I usually will do at the end. Once I get done, I will sum them together. But so here we, what we do is um, I'll go in, and this is our audio here. This is our podcast. This is the intro, and then this is our bumper. So I will lay that down, lay down the bumper. 
Make sure to follow us. The right, here's the intro. Generations starring Pete Dol And then I will go ahead and go in and place the podcast where it fits up just right. There's like a noise. It sounds like uh, like a Mr. Coffee. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And see, just like that. And then let's just say, for instance, you know, we didn't want all that. I like to leave it. It's great. You know, just, I mean, that's, that's just the nature of the show. We have all this crazy stuff we talk about. Let's just say, though, I wanted to get rid of it. So it's on the, it's, it's on the back? It's really easy just to go in and cut it out. And you can see I've done some edits here. I've done some edits here and here. Just a little bit, not much. I've taken some things out. Oh, you're on your iMac. Because we were troubleshooting his microphone, and it was just—it's really cool to hear because everyone troubleshoots microphones, right? Are you using the build? So fine. Oh, uh, Roger, we have a. <laughs> Funny. All right, good to go. Absolutely. So hey guys, I'm gonna have a seg. So let's just go ahead and start it right there. That sounds like about good. We changed topics. All right, good to go. So I'm gonna Absolutely. cut it here. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna shuffle it, and then. Boom, get rid of it so that the podcast now would sound. Good to go. Absolutely. So, hey guys, I'm going to have a segment tonight. Oh, all oh, nice. Oh, boy. And of course, the volumes aren't loud enough there in the intro. I would turn that up anyway. But that's kind of the general idea of how it goes. And then from there, um, once I get done with it, I do my editing, um, I'll bounce it out. So, then talking just briefly about some of the plugins and stuff that I use. Now, this this kind of goes across, you know, all podcasts. If if you're going to do a podcast, you have to make it, you know, pleasing to the ear. So, um something that I use, I like a good compressor on there, all right? So, I'll put a compressor on there. Uh for for our podcast, I'll use a gate and I'll have different thresholds on that depending on the levels of, you know, how loud we talk and whatnot, but typically a good gate. And then uh that's really about it. Um, because I do all my pre-production, I get good signal to begin with. My levels are good at the beginning. I'm capturing um, levels already. I'm not clipping. I'm not too low. So do your pre-production and try to get it the best you can before you even hit the mixing stage. Um, but yeah, I'll put a gate on there. Sometimes I'll put a DS on there. Typically, I don't have to. Um, sometimes we have guests that are, are very, um, very essy. And so I'll throw one on there if we need to. Uh, and lastly, which is probably my, my biggest thing, is I have to do some noise reduction sometimes. I'll have, we'll have guests, or sometimes we'll have background noises. John will be in a hotel with a fan going, an AC unit turns on. Um, I got a fan over here. Sometimes it picks it up. Uh, Middle Jesus has airplanes flying over. You know, So sometimes I'll have to go in and try to surgically remove some of that. I can't ever get all of it. It's really difficult. But I can suppress it enough to where it's still pleasing to the ears to listen to. Um, and that right there is I use a Waves. Um, the noise suppressor there. That's a WNS. It's a very, very nice plugin, and it does a really great job. Used it on some post projects as well. Works very, very nice for uh, post production. So I'll do some of that, and then once I get done with that, I will. Uh, I'll just bounce it out. I will uh, bounce it out as an MP3. I will go ahead and I'll drop it right into iTunes because the new Pro Tools here allows us to do that. To go right into uh, iTunes, which is great. Love that. So I'll do that. I'm not going to on here, but I'll bounce it out. And then um, it's going to go directly into my iTunes over here. And I'll have it. And once I drop it in iTunes, that's where I, I tag it. I do all the ID3 tags and all that. Here we go. So I'll go and put the info in there. You know, I'll put all everyone's info, the tag, the year, artwork, all that sort of thing. And then from there, it gets submitted and gets all to your lovely little ears. So uh, that's a little bit of the signal flow. It's not really like a tutorial or anything, but I just wanted to show you kind of how an all gen gamers podcast uh, goes uh, every week. Now, keep in mind too, if I'm doing uh, a teaser trailer, a highlight reel, uh, a mini episode, what I will do is from there, I will go into Final Cut. And here I've got this one loaded up too. And then I will drop a picture in I will export just that section of the mini episode if we do that, uh, or highlight reel. I'll take that, export that, drop that into Final Cut, and then I will put it together. 
video games. One was Pong, and the other was I played it with a neighbor girl. It was called Hide the Weenie. Okay, so there's this, there's a little mini episode, but then I'll export that as a movie file and upload that to YouTube. At the same time, I upload the podcast um, so that everyone gets it. And then MJR and Pete, they'll uh, do the uh, post on the website and get it going. So that's uh, that's pretty much uh, the signal flow. I'm trying to do it quicker and quicker um, as we as we move forward. I just recently am able now to. Um, edit and get things going quickly. So usually the same night or the next day we're uploading them, which is really nice. So that's a new thing that I'm really working hard to do to get it up there for you guys. And um, yeah, I really hope this has kind of helped you see. Um, it's really geeky, I know, man. But uh, I, it, are there easier ways? Sure, of course there are. Uh, are those ways better? Depends. You know, I don't, I don't. I don't look at one program and say, oh, it's inferior. I look at all the programs and try to utilize all the programs to get my job done. You know, that, that's really ultimately what it's about. The best show possible, you know, the best presentation, the best production with the tools that I have to work with and, um, you know, make it as best as I can. Uh, the guys show up every week and we, we just talk and have fun. It's a great time. I love these guys. They're like my brothers. So if I can sit here and just really put the icing on the cake for it and make it worthwhile for all of us and you guys, then I feel like I've done a good job. And that's, that's pretty much it. You know, it's, it's fun and I love it. And it's a really cool hobby, really cool hobby to have. So anyway, I hope this has helped and I hope it's inspired you a little bit to dig deeper and, um, have some fun. All right, you guys, we'll catch you on the next episode. Take care.